Hello, my name is Anthony. Welcome to this session that discusses menu security maintenance, which is available in 22A in the Oracle Utilities Cloud Services. In this session, we'll talk about this new feature and how it impacts your business. I'll give you an overview of menu security maintenance, followed by more detail to explain how to use it and the benefits to your business. Then we'll walk through a demonstration. And finally, we'll explain what you need to consider when implementing this product in your business and provide you with additional resources. The business value of menu security maintenance is that it reduces the effort in maintaining application service for user group access for menu items, allows administrators to find out and assign appropriate security access to menus, and allow flexible permissions to, for allocation of those permissions to user groups. Any security maintenance feature does the following. Identifies the application services need to access a menu item. Allows an administrator to link those application services to a user group efficiently. And finally, allows the flexibility in what permissions the user group will attain from that feature. Now let's take a look at menu security maintenance. Welcome to the demonstration of the menu security maintenance function. To get to the function, navigate to the menu query option from the menu or from the unified search. Once you're in that function, then to add to the user group. I'll use the uh, security menu as an example. Once you're in that menu, you'll see a button appear in the menu links in the dashboard. You click that button to um, open the new portal. This is only a temporary measure. In a future release, that portal will be included in the new menu maintenance function. As you can see, the menus that you see are, are listed. But as you select it, and you select which one you want to have a look at. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose the user menu option. I broadcast that, and as I can see, there are a number of application services that are required to access this menu option. Now, to attach that to a user group, I must hit expand filters and select the user group. As you can see, this user group does not have access to this function. To add that user to that function, I simply select the permissions I want to give and click on the add button. This will open up a new dialog which will list all the application services and access modes and the expiry date. I can then select which ones I do not want to give this user group by simply clicking on the delete and removing that from the list and hitting save. That will add all these services and these access modes with this date to this user group. Thank you very much. For information about menu security maintenance, see the administrative user guide on the Oracle Help Center, which is available at docs.oracle.com. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.